congratulations. We are so excited that you like your newsletter outline that we've set up. Now, what I want to do in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to edit and make changes to your video or to your newsletter so you can have your subscriptions going month after month after month or quarterly if that's what you prefer. So on this page, you have the uh, login screen. When you first log in, it looks similar to this. It really doesn't matter what page it first comes up. You just want to click on. So you want to click on send and go to broadcast. By clicking on broadcast, this is where you're going to send your newsletters out from. On the right hand side, you're going to select new broadcast and you want to select your template and we have a template already set up for you for quarterly newsletter. Once you select that, it should open up for us. Now you can change your subject line here. What do you want the subject to say? Um, ideally, you want it to be something that's catching, something that's memor memorable so that people can say, oh, I know what this is and it's going to be enticing to get them to open. So you can call it whatever you want to call it. And you can scroll down a bit over here on the right hand side. It has issue one. You just click on it and literally you can change this to whatever issue number you want it to be. Hopes happenings. If you decide to change the name, you can do that here. Um, once you click on this image, the top image that's on here first, on the right hand side, you can click replace or windows going to pop open. You can either select something that's already in here. You can upload a new file. You can do upsplash, which they just have a bunch of images that you can say, maybe you want a picture of kids. Um, you maybe you want a picture of parents or again, you can always use your own pictures as well. You don't have to select one that is here. You can just go to upload and uh, upload the file that way. Once you upload the image, it's here. Let's say you don't quite like the size of it. You can always do, um, you can change this here. It'll make it super small or it'll make it a little bigger. You can click on full and it's gonna go from end to end. Uh, we can also select edit. If you wanna make edits to the image itself, maybe you don't wanna show all of it but you just want to show a portion of it so you can kind of dial it in and make it make your adjustments how you want. Okay. So once you have that part done, if you want to change, make your edits to the address, the phone number, but just continue to scroll down. Changing this image is just like changing the image above. You can do replace on the right hand side. Um, you can do edit if you want to uh, adjust the length of it or the width of it. Uh, if you want to link it to somewhere, something else, you can do that as well by just typing in the URL. What's happening at the clinic? So ideally, this first section is kind of a, a generic section. It's something that's exciting, but it's not giving all the details of it. So you want to change the title if you want to change the title of this section. You want to type out whatever information you want to share or not share. So let's say, hello, you literally just highlight it and type it in. One really cool thing that I love about this is you can include people's name into the email. So it personalizes, personalizes it a little bit. It makes people feel more connected. And you do that by clicking the at symbol and just select subscriber first name. Now with this button here, you can click on the button and change the words that's on here. You can say learn more. This is if you want to, you know, you want them to go to another location. You want to go to another destination and get more details. You can type in the URL of where it is you're wanting them to go to. If it's your website or a special place on your website, if it's a donation place, if it's a registration place, if it's to read more about an article that relates to it, then by all means, you put your, the URL of that link in right there. Scroll down, you have your next session. This session is thought to be about upcoming events, but again, you can make whatever changes and edits that you need to. Um, under the color for the buttons, you can just on the right hand side, we'll first click on the button and on the right hand side, it has the background color. You can click on it, change the color, or you can move it around to whatever color you want it to be. And then if you wanna change the text color, you'll click on the text color right next to it and you can change it to yellow or another color altogether. All right, so this is your next session. Maybe it'd be ideal. People really love to hear life-changing stories, especially from nonprofits. How are you making an impact? What person's lives or 
another organization's life that it actually made a change or impact for the actions that you're doing there. So you're having a girls camp coming up. You can talk a little bit about the girls from last year, how they started and versus how they ended. If you want to include their picture, great. People love to see the pictures. But if you want to do maybe a picture of their backs or the back of their heads or maybe a project that they work on, that's absolutely fine as well. And last but not least, there's this section of how to connect. So you want to always give them a way to connect back to you. You've given them all this information about all the amazing things that you're doing. Give them a space and invite them to connect and help you make impact in the community. And that's this section here. It's the perfect place to go, right? Now, on any of these buttons, if you don't want the button here, you literally just delete the button. What we did is, and I'll do it again for this one up here. You're gonna double click inside, delete out the words, and then delete the button itself. And in return, the button is gone. So you'll be able to do that with yours also. Next, what you wanna do is hit continue on the bottom right hand corner. Once you go to continue, you'll be able to send this as an email, um, which we absolutely wanna do. And you also wanna do, I like to do publish to web because this is public information you want everybody to know. So great, so be it. Now, when you're sending, you want to make sure you select the down from arrow, the from address, and select your admin box. By selecting your admin box, this is the email address that they're going to see, and they'll be able to respond or hit reply and go back to this email address as opposed to going to one of these two, which you're not going to get a response from this one, and this one is more so about the parent enrichment. So you want to make sure they're responding appropriately. Right now you have 53 subscribers. We're gonna upload the other subscribers that you shared with us. However, you wanna send them to all the subscribers, great. You're able to do so just like that. It's already preset and ready to go. If you by chance wanted to just send it to some subscribers, but not all, it's not a problem. We can make these adjustments. First you'll delete out all, and you'll say who do you wanna send it to. Maybe you wanna send it to everybody that subscribed before a certain date, so everyone who subscribed to the newsletter before July 30th. Only 37 people. Maybe you want to send it to everybody who has the first name that has the letter E in it. Or maybe you have their exact name that you want to include. And so now it's gonna to go to 39 people. Um, maybe we have an Emily in the group and you just want to send it to Emily because you want to kind of test it out and see what it's gonna look like. And Emily is the person you want to send it to. Well. Emily is not in our email list, so she will not get the newsletter. Scroll down a bit more. You can schedule when you want these to go out. So you can do maybe two or three of them in advance and then pick the day you want it to go out. You just go into the future and I think you can go out. Well, I think last time I checked, you can only got a year, but apparently you can go well over two years. You pick the date and pick the time that you want it to go out. I prefer, or we found that newsletters and emails do better when they go out in the mornings between nine and 12. So send it out in the morning and get that scheduled. So it's gonna go out December 10th, 2026 at nine in the morning. Advanced options. With the advanced options, you don't have to do this one. I like doing it because it's a good way to have a little bit more context and information. The preview text, this is the text that shows up in the email that shows right under the subject line. So some people put in the first line of the email. Um, some people put in something catchy and say, oh, you're not gonna believe this. It could be you put in uh, uh, maybe a snapshot of a really important story that you have in here. Um, Girls Camp is opening now or um, HCC impact 30 teen girls lives because that's something that's included in the thing internal note is really neat because sometimes you forget what was in that last email or that last newsletter so this internal note you can put on here so you can refer back to it without having to open it up and read all the things so maybe you just put the title of all the different sections so we talked about girls camp we talked about um, back to school. So this is an internal note. No one else is going to see it. And I'm just going to put hello, right? So we say we're going to publish this to the web. If you want to change this image, you can, but you don't have to. And that is pretty much it. Now, before you send it out, if you want to see it, 
what it's gonna look out look like before you schedule it I like hitting preview on that bottom right hand corner it lets you see what it's gonna look like but you can also send a test email so this test email is really neat and it comes in handy when you're wanting to send it to other people in the office so everyone can look at it and you'll just hit send text send test <laughs> put in the test email address that you want to send it to and hit send preview it will automatically email this to them and that's it right so that's a really neat way it doesn't log if the person opens it it literally just sends the email out with all the the trimmings and the fixings that we have on there you can preview it as a subscriber um oh because we have it marked to go to no one that's not giving us that option but anyone who's on your email list you can you'll be able to select them and send it over that way all right if you want to see what it looks like on the phone on the right hand corner at the top select the phone icon and you'll be able to scroll down and see what it looks like on people's devices so you may look at it and say oh the picture's too big or oh we want to make some adjustments to it then you're able to make you know go back in and make the adjustments and go from there so right now we're going to put this back at all because we need to have some subscribers here we're sending it to 53 subscribers we're going to hit continue because i want to show you something schedule broadcast so now it says this is saved in a draft I already confirmed oh the email so I'm sending this from your admin email it hasn't been confirmed yet so it won't let us send it I'm gonna send it from this one because I know it is confirmed make sure we're still in December 10th 53 subscribers okay now let's hit continue it shows you a brief overview like are you sure this is the stuff you want to send out yes it is schedule the broadcast so once it's scheduled it says congratulations but it shows here under broadcast this is where we initially started and so with this being where we initially started it shows you that you're scheduled for December 10th at 9 in the morning it's public so everyone can see it this is our internal note that only us, we can see because we're logged in this is the uh, subject line because that's what we have is the subject line now if we go over to the three dots we can duplicate it we want to keep it exactly the same and just do it again you can open it so you can just see it but let's say you want to make some edits to it oh I forgot to include something just hit edit and you can you're back in your newsletter you can make whatever adjustments you want to make and move forward last but not least if you don't like it or you decide that oh you know what let's scrap it all together and start over click the on the top right hand corner just click delete and you're all set and good to go your first newsletter is going to go out December 10th I'm gonna delete it right now all right so it says it's under draft I'm gonna click these three dots and hit delete okay let me know if you have any questions hopefully that's helpful and I'm excited to see what your newsletters are gonna be looking like and the information that you're gonna be sharing have a good one